The organ in the Salt Lake Tabernacle is one of the most famous musical instruments ever made. Accompanying the Tabernacle Choir each week on its music and the spoken word broadcast, and in daily recitals and numerous performances at church conferences and other public concerts, this organ has probably been heard by more people around the world than any other. The wonderful space that is the Tabernacle, a wonderful space for music making, a building that was built before all of the sophisticated scientific knowledge of acoustical principles. And it turned out spectacularly. It, it's a magnificent place in which to perform. And the opportunity to perform on this instrument in this space and make music which really communicates testimony of the gospel, of the divinity of the work here to everyone who comes to listen. And the opportunity to perform with the dedicated musicians who comprise the Tabernacle Choir. It's uh, absolutely an experience that is unparalleled and unequaled so far as I have any knowledge anywhere in the world. While not the world's largest, it is one of the finest pipe organs ever built. Constructing the original organ required artistic craftsmanship and perseverance in the face of great obstacles. Australian-born organ builder Joseph Ridges fashioned pipes from tall, straight-grained pine that ox-drawn wagons hauled 300 miles to Salt Lake City. Since its completion, the organ has been renovated and enlarged several times. The Aeolian Skinner Company of Boston built the present organ. And you can see how uh, it looks like there's a lot of stuff to uh, understand. Actually, there are three basic functions. Um, oh, maybe a fourth. Uh, basically, you have each keyboard plays a different section of the organ. Each of those sections is labeled with a label that tells you um, where it goes. And there's a wood trim around to show you the groupings. This is the choir organ set of stops here. Below it is the positive, and they share that bottom keyboard. The great manual here plays on that keyboard. The solo plays on the fourth keyboard, and it shares with the bombard, which is located over here. Uh, the swell stops play on the third keyboard. The pedal on the pedal keys and then the fifth keyboard is the antiphonal organ, which is located in the back of the hall. Uh, it's actually in the attic space, and you can see the dark rectangular areas behind the balcony at the top. It, those are the openings where the sound comes out from the organ speaking in the attic space. The famous golden pipes made of wood staves fashioned from Utah timber still play today. The organ contains 11,623 individual pipes organized into 147 voices, or tone colors, and 206 ranks, or rows of pipes. Grouped into eight divisions, they are controlled from a console with five 61-note keyboards and a 32-note pedal board. The longest pipe is 32 feet. The shortest is 3 quarters of an inch. For more information on Hallowed Ground Sacred Journeys, please visit virtualtours.byu.edu.